Round two. Fight. <laughs> finish him. All right, round two. I just finished putting up that last video of the full breakdown on Upchurch's first diss on Tom McDonald. Why, boys? I literally just put that up. And then people were telling me, hey, Upchurch just dropped another one. Well, here we are. And <laughs> now I'm going to break this one down. If you haven't seen the first one, the reaction to Why, boys, where I dissected it, you can go ahead and check that out if you have any questions or you're confused about anything that he was saying in there. I try to dig into it as much as possible. Or if you still don't know why Upchurch is dissing Tom McDonald, it's in the Why Boys video. And I tell you why, boys. <laughs> now, we're about to get to this thing. I'm ready for more bars. As I said in the last one, if you don't like a lot of pausing, then you can go ahead and click on this video just like I did and listen to it uninterrupted for your listening pleasure. But we are here for the bars. This is a diss track. And in the last one, of Church has some bars. So I'm expecting more bars and more pausing in this one. We about to get to this thing. I do appreciate you being here. Much love to you. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are in the world right now. Thank you for tuning in. It's your boy Snake Venom S to the V. We about to get to this. Tom McDonald diss. This is up, church. Six, one, five. It's like YouTube versus Mozart. Pick his fucking bone apart. Coyote in the hollow. When it's dark, my stomach start to bark. This road. Hold up. This beat sounds familiar. Nah, this like it sounds like a G Unit beat. Ah, oh, where's this beat from? It could be the game and Fifty Cent. Mmm, on the documentary. Oh, it could be West Side Story. It sounds like West Side Story, but it sounds like slowed down a little bit, like muddied up. Oh, this is about to get grimy. I like the beat choice already. Let's go. Did you hear that, Eagle? Yeah, Church telling him who the real American hero is. <laughs> It's like YouTube versus Mozart. Pick his fucking bone apart. Coyote in the hollow. When it's dark, my stomach start to bark. This road killed dead, been dead since the first track. Mickey Thompson pattern slapped all the way down to his ass crack. Five head ass. <laughs> he smoked him already. I just inhaled it. <laughs> oh shit. Nah, he smoked him. He come. He came out the gate. Hot. He didn't even start out with a chorus this time. This is like YouTube versus Mozart. He's telling Tom he's just a YouTube rapper and Church makes real music. Pick his fucking bone apart like Napoleon Bonaparte. Coyote in the holla when it's dark. My stomach starts to bark. Oh, he got that dog in him. Yeah, talk your shit, Church. Coyote in the holla. So he, he already telling Tom, like, come on down to the holla and holla at me. See what happens. When it's dark, my stomach starts to bark. So bark, holla, coyotes. They howl at the moon. They they hollering. Yeah, let's go, let's go. And, then, and hey, you heard the eagle too. The eagles like to pick those bones clean. So pick his fucking bone apart. It's fucking bone apart, coyote in the hollow. When it's dark, my stomach start to bark. This road killed dead, been dead since the first track. Mickey Thompson pattern slapped all the way down to his ass crack. <laughs> Yeah, that Vicky Thompson. The, this roadkill is dead. Now that carries over from the last one because coyotes like to eat roadkill. This roadkill is dead. And he's been dead since the last track, since that Y Boys diss track. Mickey Thompson pattern slapped all the way down to his ass crack. He, he done ran over him with those big ass Mickey Thompson tires and turned him into roadkill because he ran his ass over. Now, Roadkill, the first track, the road, the track, you called it the road, the track. So he ran him over on that track. And I told y'all in that last reaction, in the chorus, 
Whew, I told you I inhaled that smoke. <laughs> um, chilling in my lane, then this your last ride. And I said, it sound like church, ready to run his ass over. And what'd he do? What'd he do? Ran him over in them big ass Mickey Thompson tires that brrr, spun the tires on him. Kicked the dirt up. <laughs> Let's go. No dead, been dead since the first track. Mickey Thompson pattern slapped all the way down to his ass crack. Five head ass, you already know about the tall heads. I see sting on your face. Barbed wire with the ball bag. Control the situation and his ass cave. Fall back, all there is is water and he ain't blue. Oh, da, 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 da. Five head ass, so he's carried that over from the last one. Still saying he's got that big ego, big head. But you already know about the tall hats. And in old times... People used to wear tall hats to make themselves appear taller because they were short. But a lot of wealthy people would wear tall hats as well because it was a sign of wealth. And he's telling Tom that he's capping still, but he thinks that he's taller. He thinks that he's bigger than he really is. And Church is telling that he thinks he's bigger and his fans think he's bigger than he is as well. So he's just calling them all out here. I see sting on your face. So those jabs, he's be hitting him with those jabs. Yeah, he's piecing him up. He sees the stings on his face. But Sting from WCW, if you know, you know. The face paint, uh-huh, showing up in that leather jacket. That was, that was my boy back in the day. See Sting on your face. So Sting, the wrestler from WCW. And did it? Wasn't Tom McDonald a wrestler? I could have sworn I had some people telling me that. That Tom used to wrestle before he made music. So there's the correlation. But barbed wire with the ball bat. Doesn't Tom have a barbed wire tattoo on his face? And then the ball bat. Sting used to come out with that baseball bat ready to whoop some ass. NWO. Yeah. Now, if you put that barbed wire around the baseball bat, though, you get Cactus Jack. He would break out Barbie. And I, I actually did... Um, a biography report because I read Sting's book when I was in school. Can control the situation and his ass can't fall back. Mm. Ass crack, he just talking head shit. Ass, you already know about the tall heads. I see Sting on your face. Barbed wire with the ball bag. Control the situation and his ass cave. Fall back. All there is is water and he ain't fluid enough to swim. Rack. Got gills with the skills. You a CGI spacecraft. Green screen rhyme zone. Algorithm format. Oh, he carried the scheme. He carried the scheme. Situation and his ass cave. Fall back. All there is is water and he ain't. All there is is water and he ain't fluent enough to swim. Rap. You're surrounded by water, and Church is telling you it's shark-infested water, and he's ready to drown your ass. So Tom's just treading water right now. He's struggling to keep his head above the water. And Church is like, he ain't fluent. It sounds like fluid, like water. And he ain't fluent enough to swim rap. You're not able to keep with this Michael Phelps in the pool. He ain't fluent enough to swim rap. His pen can't keep up. He just can't keep up with Church on the mic. So Church is just sunning him right now. He's just talking his shit. I like that though. He ain't fluid enough to swim. I got gills with the skills. You a CGI space. I got gills with the skills. So he carries over the fish scheme. And I got gills with the skills. So Church is thriving in this water. He's, in, he's got him in deep waters right now. And Church likes it because he breathes this rap shit. And you a CGI spacecraft. Now that that reminds me of the American Flags video. Because that's the only Tom McDonald video I've seen uh, so far. Because I will be checking out more. But in the video, he had those jets flying overhead. And the video was sick, by the way. It was dope as hell. But the jets were fake. It was all post-editing. And it was CGI. So he's telling Tom, look, you're a faker, dude. Like, everything about you is phony. Spacecraft, green screen, rhyme zone, algorithm format, put algae on the stone tab. Raptor in the claw, back Jurassic Park, a car in my lotto with two Toronto facts. Hey, hey, hold on, no, 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 hold up. He just, what in the Jurassic Park? Jeff Goldblum, hold up. We got, we got Jurassic Park. He's still talking his shit. He said, I'm a raptor and I'm ready to rip your ass up. And I'm taking you back to Toronto, Canada, where you belong. <laughs> 
In the club back, Jurassic Park, a car in my lot, tow it to Toronto. Fex. My ink pen, a wrist when I clinch it with a mean fist. Hip hop is the art you leaped in with some cheap shit. Met the grill of a redneck driving around in the C10. Screaming white boy a couple of times. Now we automatically think sweet friends. Leave a hog at the farm in the. Dis- <laughs> Hold up, bro. So, my ink pen, a wrist when I clinch it with a mean fist. So he's punching him with these rhymes, but when you write, obviously you clench the pen, and he's telling him his lyrics hit hard like a clenched fist. Mm. Mm. You leaped in with some cheap shit, Tom, huh? Yeah, he he's saying that Tom isn't authentic. It's cheap shit. It's fake. And he just leaps into rap, or he's leaping into country now. And right here, that that is part of the reason why church is dissing him. If you didn't see it on the last track when I broke it down, right there, you leaped in with some cheap shit because Tom is leaping into country now. And he thinks he's going to come over and up church's lane, which is country rap. Are you leaped in with some cheap shit? Met the grill of a redneck driving around in the C10. Screaming yeah. white boy a couple of times. Now- yeah. <laughs> Met the grill of a redneck driving around the C10. So up church out here cruising in a Chevy. And Tom was that deer caught in the headlights and he smacked him with the front end. Now he's caught up in the grill. Remember that roadkill from the beginning? It's coming full circle. And now screaming white boy a couple times. He thinks we're automatically friends. So Tom's song, white boy, white boy, white boy. At a church like, what you think is you yelling at? We cool? Nah. And then he made the parody, which was his last diss track, Why Boys. Now we automatically think sweet friends Leave a hog at the farm in the deceased in my big pen Got marked with an ink tip, I'm real bored Flip trick, my style make a trick flip Is that Katie no L or a revamp of white chick? Transform rapper oh, Hold up, bro Leave a hog at the farm End up deceased in my pig pen Tom has that hog tatted on his lips And his fans are the hangover gang, the hogs But leave a hog in the pig pen Pigs, hogs but leave a hog at the farm and end up deceased in my pig pens. Pigs are known for eating people. They eat anything and everything. Serial killers will toss bodies in the pig pens. And what happens? They, hey, they turn them into shit. And now church is saying, look, I'm turning you into shit, homie. <laughs> it, if y'all seen that episode of Criminal Minds, then you know what he's talking about with the pig pen. Church is saying, I got that criminal mind. I'll get the farm in the deceased in my big pen. Got marked with an ink tip. I'm real bored. Flip trick. My style make a trick flip. Is that Katie no L or a revamp of white chick? Oh. Transform. Oh, come on. <laughs> the shout out to white chicks. Another classic comedy. I love it. The Wayne's Bros. Yes, sir. And he, he's calling back to that transgender thing that he was talking about. Tom being in the last one on Y Boys. In. The movie White Chicks, if you haven't seen it, you got dudes dressing up like women and they're pretending to be women because they're undercover cops. And he's basically saying that that's what Tom does. He's undercover in music, but he's also one minute a guy or the next minute he's acting like a girl. You just never know. And that's what they do in the movie. (laughs) Got murked with an ink tip. That's his pen. He's killing him with the pen. And he's, hey, hey. Now, don't forget that that could be guns, too, with the tip of the gun. He could spray. You You want it lyrically or literally? Either way, you could get it. I'm real bored. Flip trick. He's real bored. He's just chilling right now. He's just, he's just having fun with it. I'm bored, so I figured I would write this out. But I'm real bored, like a skateboard. Flip trick. You do tricks on a skateboard, like kick flips. My style make a trick flip. Look how he takes flip trick and then flips it to trick flip. He literally is just having fun. But this Katie Noel part, bro. <laughs> now, nah, Katie Noel, isn't that the chick that Upchurch was dating and he was trying to help her out with music? But then she did like some real grimy shit and tried to drag his name through the mud. That was her, right? That was like a couple years ago. I remember Upchurch making a, some video speaking out and talking about her. And that that's actually like the content that I used to watch of Up Church. I never really dove into his whew, never really dove into his music or anything until now. And I'm loving it. But 
uh, Katie Noel, yeah, that that has to be the chick he was talking about. I'm pretty damn sure. And I, I that's the content I like from Upchurch, though, is where he's sitting in front of the camera. It's just him talking shit. And he's funny as hell, man. So Katie Noel, she was also, like, real tomboyish. She, she was trying to act like a man all the time. Yeah, so there's the correlation. He's saying that Tom does the same thing like Katie Noel. Oh, sorry. Katie Noel <laughs> and White Chicks, bro. I like that scheme. I like it. They flipping it. Flip trick, my style make a trick flip. Is that Katie Noel or a revamp of White Chick? Transform rappers into looking like my side pit. I be standing oh, in the kitchen. And he carries it over again. This dude doesn't stop. He's real slick. Just when you think he stops, he carries it over. And transform, transgender, he's still playing off of that for Tom McDonald. <laughs> Making my way downtown. Da -da 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 -da. And I need you. <laughs> Revamp of white chick, transform rappers into looking like my side pit. I be standing in the kitchen eating Canadian bacon strips, and ain't nobody oh, nah. on my wave, so nobody can sink the ship. Hey, pyramid oh, scheme, man. Oh, nah, you just stole the food right off of Tom's plate. Standing in the kitchen eating Canadian bacon strips, because Tom's Canadian, Canadian bacon, but church is snatching his food like, what you gonna do about it? What are you, what are you gonna do? And ain't nobody on my wave, so nobody can sink my ship. That's a callback from the Y boys in the chorus. He's like, smiling wave to the wave, make them capsize. Because he said Tom was is riding those waves on that ship. But he sunk Tom's ship with that. But if we turn and look at this, nobody's on Upchurch's wave. So you can't sink his battleship. And this is battle rap. And ain't nobody on my wave, so nobody can sink the ship. Hey, pyramid scheme ain't nothing but a weak big Eminem attention. No getting make his name Egypt. I ain't oh. buying book because I'm well known like a C script. Oh. Joke. Oh. Nah, the Eminem, hold up. Pyramid scheme. And then he ends it with Egypt. So pyramids in Egypt, but a pyramid scheme is it's basically fraud, you know. That's what it is. It's fraud. And it's illegal. So people will try to get you to invest in things and steal your money. And he's saying that Tom is a pyramid scheme with his music. He's a fraud. And he gets all these viewers and these fans so invested in him. But he's just scamming you. Ain't nothing but a weak Bic. Now Bic, a Bic is a pen. And it's also lighters too. But he's telling him he, he's got a weak pen game. He can't, he can't keep up with him. He just, he just can't hold a candle to up church's pen. Nothing. Nothing he can do about it. He's got a weak pen, but also a weak lighter. He can got no lighter fluid. There's nothing he can spark that's going to light a flame and keep up with church. So a weak bitch, he could also be saying weak bitch too. Hey. <laughs> Eminem, attention, no getting. You're not getting any attention from Eminem, Tom. Not happening. <laughs> I like it. And I'm even fucking, I mean, I'm fucking wearing my Eminem shirt today. So, hey, but Eminem attention, it's not happening. Even if you start name dropping him in songs, he ain't gonna pay you no mind. Attention, no getting, make his name Egypt. I ain't buying book because I'm well known like a C script. Joke, dirt's coming. I'm only dropping some heat shit. Keep the pants <laughs> in the cupboard. All my neighbors is Bobby. The, co the call out. There we go, Joe Dirt. Another classic. I see. I love these pop culture references, man. These are movies I grew up on. And if y'all have not seen any of these movies, do yourself a favor. These are classics. They're goofy as hell. Now, Joe Dirt's comment, I'm only dropping some heat shit. In the movie, Joe Dirt thinks he finds this magical meteor, right? And it's, it's not. It's literally just a flaming pile of shit. It's just a big ass turd that dropped out of a plane. <laughs> but Church is dropping heat shit. His music is hot, but he's also shitting on Tom McDonald. I like that. I like it. My name, attention, no getting make his name Egypt. I ain't buying bull because I'm well known like. Mmm, I ain't buying bull. He's not buying into Tom's bullshit. That's not happening. But then the shit also literally because Joe Dirt's meteor was a pile of shit. That's slick. I like the connection. Well known. He's saying he's well known. He's not fake. He's not phony like Tom. Like a sea script. Now, sea script, that could be a sea shanty on his ship. Nobody can sink my ship. Sing sea shanties on ships, right? 
like a sea script Joke dirt's coming, I'm only dropping some heat shit Keep the pans in the cupboard, all my neighbors is by Because I'm powering a funky volume and knock off Marcus Hobson Hill ah. with a L mind, remember Hop had white eyes He ain't tell no white lies or hashtag his whole life It's me oh. slow Oh yes Give Hobson his flowers, man Let's fucking go Yeah I love Hobson I said, give me that crown, boy. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. So Marcus Hobson is the real name of the rapper Hobson. If y'all used to check out the Ill Mind series, that's where he blew up. Hobson on YouTube. He kills it, man. Now, uh, keep the pans in the cupboard. I'm pretty sure, wasn't that like a Hobson song? There was a song like that, that Hobson did. Uh, all my neighbors bobbing because I'm firing up a funky volume. Funk volume. That was... That's what Hobson was on, funk volume. And he's just saying he turned that music up. I'm firing up some Hobson and we're going to crank that shit. But a knockoff Marcus Hobson. So he's telling Tom, look, you want to be like Hobson, but you're not. Because you're the cheap version. You're the imitation. All my neighbors is bobbing cause I'm powering up funky volume and knock off Marcus Hobson. Hill belly with a ill mind. Remember Hop had white eyes. He ain't tell no white lies or Yeah. Hill Billy with a ill mind. There it is. There's the ill mind series. Go check out like all nine or ten of them. They're all killer. See, Hobson used to just get on the mic and spit. That's it. He would go at anybody and everybody. He don't care. And remember, Hop had white eyes. He ain't tell no white lies. Now, Hop, Hobson used to rock the white contacts in his videos. But he's saying, Tom with the white eyes. Now, if I'm not mistaken, in the White Boy song, Tom's, um, what's he say? He's like, see it through my white eyes. He says that, right? That's one of the only so other songs I've heard from Tom McDonald. It was the first song I ever heard from Tom McDonald, but I'm pretty sure he says something along those lines. He ain't telling no white lies because Hobson don't lie. Hobson's not a faker. He's again calling Tom out for being fake. Or hashtag his whole life because Tom just lives on the web. He don't live out there in reality. Mmm, let's go, man. Shout out to Hobson, dude. I love that. Marcus Hobson, Hill Billy with a L mind. Remember Hop had white eyes. He ain't tell no white lies or hashtag his whole life. It's me slowed down like purple drink and toss sprite. I'm the hitter in your system. Memphis 12s all night. Dude spent a hundred racks on a shady made beat. Reenacted a classic from the Marshall Mathers LP. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold up. We're digging in here. We're digging in here. Hold up. This is me slowed down like purple drink and a tall sprite. So he's sipping that lean. I'm the hitter in your system, Memphis 12s all night. Memphis 12s, you put them in your sound system. Them subwoofers, they be kicking out the trunk. Let's go, trunk music. I'm the hitter in your system, though. He's the one on the attack, and he's saying, I'm fucking you up. I'm the real hitter. Now, I'm all up in here. I'm in your system. I'm all you're thinking about. You hear what I'm saying to you? I'm the hitter. Don't get it twisted. But the Memphis 12s, that was nice. That was nice, man. Throw the subwoofer in there. Yeah. Hell, my remember Hop had white eyes. He ain't tell no white lies or hashtag his whole life. It's me slowed down like purple drink and toss Sprite. I'm the hitter in your system. Memphis 12s all night. Dude spent a hundred racks on a shady made beat. Reenacted a classic from the Marshall Mathers LP. And then he fucked it all up acting like a psycho freak. And I was photo in the guard check somewhere in the deep. This is ludicrous. Whoa, 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 what? Hold up, bro. What? Dude spent a hundred racks on a shady made beat, reenacted a classic from the Marshall. Whoa! So now I have not heard a lot of Tom's music or anything, but I do remember seeing the headline when NFTs were popping and all that. And Tom McDonald did spend a hundred racks and bought a shady beat, and he he made a song out of it or something. I'm guessing because I had people requesting something to do with Eminem. I haven't listened to it yet, but I will. I'm going to check it out. Apparently, though, he got hella weird and made it creepy because Church is calling him out for it now. Made beat, reenacted a classic from the Marshall Mathers LP. And then he fucked it all up acting like a psycho freak. And I was <laughs> Yo, he posted his photo in the guard shack. <laughs> Have you seen this man? He's not allowed entry. Not in Detroit. <laughs> they posted his pictures on the walls like he's wanted or something. <laughs> like he's a damn One Piece character out here in the D. Oh, shit. 
And so apparently Tom was acting like a, a fucking freak show on that track. I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments if you've heard that one yet. <laughs> oh, hold up. If we... Nah, because if he's not loud in Detroit... If oh this might this is a callback from earlier in the track when he was talking about Eminem, no attention from Eminem, and he made this song. So maybe this song is why he didn't get attention. Maybe he talked about Eminem before and he got nothing. Eminem doesn't really respond much to anybody, even his friends. But maybe that's the correlation there. Yeah. Okay. All right. I see you. You know who did get a shout out from M though, because he's a real one. Hobson. Hobson. Acted a classic from the Marshall Mathers LP, and then he fucked it all up, acting like a psycho freak. And I was photo in the guard shack, somewhere in the deep. This is Ludacris, back in 2003, and now Vinyl Crab Apple look. Whoa, 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 whoa! So now he's mentioning Ludacris. You know, I'm beginning to feel like this is a diss track towards me, because how you, he just mentioned my two favorite rappers. He mentioned Eminem, my favorite rapper, and then he mentioned Ludacris. Right after that. That's my top two favorite rappers. I grew up on their music. That can't be a coincidence, church. <laughs> Are you writing a diss track on me? I'm, I'm beginning to think now. Because. Come on. Really? What the odds of that. And those two rappers specifically. Being back to back like that is astronomical. I know this says Tom McDonald this. But church. If you misspelled Snake Venom. It's okay. You can let me know. <laughs> if you, hey man, if you want to write this track on me, I will respond. Unlike some people. Looking <laughs> like he's covered in bleach in a simulated ring, simulated competition. I'm Optimus Prime. You optimizing all the opposition. Is this dude a rapper? Simulated competition. I'm Optimus. Looking like he's covered in bleach in a simulated ring, simulated competition. I'm Optimus. Oh, so, somebody's calling my phone. Hold on. All right, Whew. I had somebody calling me, and then somebody at my door. I thought it was up church knocking at my door. I was like, "Damn, that was quick." <laughs> I interrupt the song so much, I got people interrupting me. <laughs> All right, we gotta run this back. Hold up, where were we at? Uh, somewhere around here, ludicrous, right? Okay. Like he's covered in bleach in a simulated ring, simulated competition. I'm Optimus Prime, you optimizing all the opposition. Is this dude a rapper or a politician? Is he AI generated or got tattoos? That's a good question. I, I see people talking about that all the time. I've seen people in the comments discussing that. And then I have people over when I'm streaming on Twitch. They're talking about it in the chat. Anytime Tom McDonald gets brought up, politics go get brought up. So that, that's a good question. What does Tom do nowadays? Is he a politician or is he a rapper? I don't know. In a simulated ring, simulated competition. I'm Optimus Prime, you optimizing all the op mm, In a simulated ring, simulated competition. This is a simulation. Life is a simulation. Now, he's saying that he going to step into the ring with Tom, but it's, this is a simulation. He's a battle rapper. Step into the ring, Tom. He's simulating it right now, how it would go. And it's not looking well for Tom because Tom isn't fighting back. <laughs> but this is simulated competition. I'm Optimus Prime. Mm, I like that, though. I like that. I'm Optimus Prime. And my Autobots will roll out on your ass. <laughs> Opposition. Is this dude a rapper or a politician? Is he AI generated or got tattoos missing? I got the juice, motherfucker, not Shapiro recognition. Oh, whoa, got your whoa, mama whoa, jokes. Whoa, whoa. Like no, 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 no. He just switched the flow up again. He just keep changing. Is this AI generated? <laughs> Here we go with the AI, the CGI, all that. Uh, this all comes back to being phony. Is this AI generated? Got, or he's, he got tattoos missing? I don't know. I haven't really taken a good look at tat like Tom's tattoos. I've just seen the barbed wire face tats before. But, hey, if you do make some stuff with AI, you know they'd be fucking up. You put in those prompts, and they'd be messing up fingers and stuff. It, it, I don't know, man. I got tattoos missing. I got the juice, motherfucker, not Shapiro recognition. Oh. Got your mama jokes. I got his yarmulke for rhyming with the chicken noodles. My uh -huh. shit's so hard written in Roman numerals. Uh -huh. I killed the beat so much every album having a funeral. Uh -huh. Ain't a hater out the Oh, no, 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 no. He cut the beat out, too. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, church. Calm down. Is he AI generated or got tattoos missing? I got the juice, motherfucker. Not Shapiro. Mm, I got the juice. 
Yeah, he's saying he got the juice in his pen, homie. This he's the he's got the real juice behind what he's saying. But then he mentions Ben Shapiro. The juice, the Jews, and he's saying Tom got a Jew on his track to get recognition. Now, right after he just mentioned the politician, and Ben Shapiro is known for politics. Okay, I see it. I see it. He's carrying the scheme. I got the juice, not the Jews. Not Shapiro recognition. So Tom brought on Ben Shapiro on his track to try and get some of that political attention to his music. Okay, I haven't checked out that song yet either, by the way, but I will be checking that out. I know I've had some people request that one. Is he AI generated or got tattoos missing? I got the juice, motherfucker, not Shapiro recognition. Got your mama jokes, I got his yarmulke for rhyming with the chicken. Oh, no, no, his yarmulke. Oh, nah. -uh. <laughs> Bro, what? He, that's disrespect. So now, I don't, is Tom, is he Jewish? I know Ben is, but he's out here saying he stole his damn yarmulke. <laughs> That's a violation, man. Fucking not Shapiro recognition. Got your mama jokes. I got his yarmulke for rhyming with the chicken noodles. My shit's so hard written in Roman numerals. I killed the beat so much every year I'm having a funeral. Ah, Nigga, I ate it oh, he kills the beat too. My shit so hard is written in Roman numerals. I be putting it out in these number patterns, and you're just gonna have to decipher what is happening, which is exactly what I'm trying to do right now. He he out here writing it like XVI. What does that say? That's how many times I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> so hard written in Roman numerals. I kill the beat so much every album. Ah, oh, this right here. Listen to how the beat drops out. I kill the beat. He literally killed the beat. It's gone. I kill the beat so much every album having a funeral. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, he talking his shit right now. He's in his bag. So he murders every track he's on. Every album is done. It's finished. He murdered it. And he's telling you right now he's killing this shit too. And what happened? He killed the beat. Where'd the beat go? Bring the beat back. I'm with the chicken noodles. My shit's so hard written in Roman numerals. I killed the beat so much every year I'm having a funeral. Dig a hater out the grave cause I'm a DNA consumer. Got a pharaoh producer camera angle be looking lucid. Every move we make is me. Oh, now he brought it back again. I love the callbacks. Hold up. I'm a DNA consumer. Got a pharaoh producer camera angle. Yeah. I dig a hater out the grave so that carries the funeral over but i got a pharaoh all the way back to the pyramids in egypt again angle be looking lucid every move we make is being made in the way of the future by the way when we get there you still need a hip-hop tutor i'm the shit ah, poop yeah. super on my record so boots good and lose yourself in the music the moment you don't hit that's why you're never doing shows can't even get one shot your verse from the hand of ghost that composition be empty your fucking lifetime my what? genre of music label what? that nah nah he just got on that eminem lose yourself flow What? You did what? <laughs> Hold up. Nah. Nah, nah. I'm the shit poop super on my record. So boots good and lose yourself in the music. The moment you don't hit, that's why you never... Mm. No, he killed it. He killed it. Lose yourself in the music. The moment you own it. You never want to let it go. Oh. Nah, he killed this. And he look how he switches it up. Lose yourself in the music. The moment you own it. Boot scoot and lose yourself. Boot scoot and boogie. Boot scoot and lose yourself. Come on, church. I like that. That's nice, right? But boot scoot and boogie. Brooks and Dunn. So he's saying, look, Tom, you want to go country so bad. You're over here boot scooting and boogie around. Heel to toe, do -si do Come on, baby. Let's go. <laughs> boot scoot and boogie. Tom's out here trying to find his rhinestone jacket in his cowboy boots. And then lose yourself. Church is saying, look, man, do you want to be a country boy or do you want to be a rapper? Which one you want to be? But look at Church. He's both. And what's Tom trying to do? He's trying to be both. But Church knows that Tom is not country at all. And if y'all are confused, I told y'all in the last one, this is another reason right here. Right here. Just like Church said, you over here in my lane, this your last ride. What's Tom doing? He's trying to jump in to Church's lane of music, which is country rap. And he's not really from the South. He's not really country at all. And Church does not like fake people. 
there you go. This is why he's dissing Tom McDonald. So boot scoot and lose yourself in the music, the moment. Lose yourself in the music, the moment you won't. But you better never let it go. He flips it on him right here. He changes up the lyrics. You don't hit. That's why you're never doing shows. Now, I don't know. Like, does Tom actually do shows or not? I don't know. Yeah, it could be why he called him a YouTube rapper at the beginning. But I like the cadence switch up, man. Doing shows. Can't even get one shot. Your verse from the hand of ghost. That composition be empty of fuck. Yes. Wait, is he? Yo, he's calling Tom, telling him he's got a ghostwriter? Does Tom got a ghostwriter? Oh, shit. Hold up. And then he flips it again. One shot. But guess what happened? You using a ghostwriter. You, you <laughs> just so he carries over the lose yourself. And where's it at? Where's it at? So one shot verse from the hand of a ghost. That composition empty a fucking lifetime. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Flip it. One shot. Verse from the hand of a ghost, that composition be empty a fucking lifetime. That's, that's clever right, man, how he rewords it. Because Tom, I guess, is maybe an Eminem fanboy. And it's very fitting that I'm wearing a damn Eminem shirt. <laughs> but now he's calling him out for having a ghostwriter. So that competition be empty. That Or sorry, composition be empty. But it could be competition because Tom ain't responding and he ain't competing with church. Now, composition, the composition of his pen, because he has a ghostwriter, his pad is empty. He's not really writing anything. So, therefore, the composition of his music holds no sustenance. Fucking lifetime. Mm. My genre of music mm. labeled as a high crime. Zodiac killer, Gemini, yanking on your lifeline. Who wants to be a millionaire for no fucking reason? This guy. Now, bottle study no, in no, Southern no, 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 for real, though. Who, who wants to be a millionaire like TV show? This guy. I, I want to be a millionaire for no reason. I, it really helped my family out. You know what I'm saying? My genre of music labeled as a high crime zodiac. My genre of music. Oh, high crime. You know, high crime. But um, Zodiac Killer. Hello? Like that famous serial killer? I, like if y'all watch any of the movies about the Zodiac Killer that have been out over the years, nobody knows who the hell it was. They're still trying to find out who the heck was, but Zodiac Killer, Gemini, and Zodiac Signs, and I guess Church is a Gemini, man. But if we take, if we take what a Gemini man is, it is ideas, man. You're coming up with these fresh ideas. You're known as sparking these thoughts. What's Church doing? He's coming up with real stuff. And he told Tom that he has a ghostwriter, so he's not coming up with anything. Oh, yo, that's actually fire. That's actually fire. But I'm the I'm the Gemini Zodiac killer yanking on your lifeline. Just come on. Lifeline is music, but also he's killing him in his music. Position be empty your fucking lifetime. My genre of music labeled as a high crime. Zodiac killer Gemini yanking on your lifeline. Who wants to be a millionaire for no fucking reason? This, this guy. No auto study in Southern Comfort up on his Wi-Fi. Go denim on denim like a carny up at the fair. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Pal Waldo, bro. Pal Waldo study in Southern Comfort up on his Wi-Fi. <laughs> Where's Waldo? <laughs> Found Waldo studying Southern Comfort. So Southern Comfort, the whiskey. Now, Tom could be sipping on that, thinking that he's country. <laughs> Found Waldo studying, and Waldo's hiding, right? And he told him he's in it. He doesn't leave his house out in Cali. Because he's not really out in the country. Found Waldo studying Southern Comfort. He's saying that Tom is at home just doing his research on Southern culture. Like the last Wild Boys track, he said he had his PR team Google Nashville for their, their clothing and everything. So he's basically just telling you, Tom, I, I know what you're doing and I see you. You laid back in your home all comfy and shit while we're out here busting our ass in the country. We really out here dealing with these animals. We the ones with the sore backs because we out here doing real work while you laid up comfy looking at google pictures thinking that you really a country boy <laughs> and you not so tom is basically trying to capitalize off of southern culture so he can 
have that southern comfort wherever he is chilling at while he sips southern comfort. Mm. If I go denim on denim like mm. a carny up at the fair ride, cotton candy, your heart, popcorn for no show. Kick your ass out my house like I'm Earl Winslow. Oh. Got any cheese? <laughs> No, no. He did not just Steve Urkel him. It's like I'm Earl Winslow. No. Got any cheese? <laughs> Got any cheese? <laughs> Yo, hear his laugh, bro. His laugh kills me. He just Steve Urkeled him. But I don't know who Earl Winslow is, but Carl Winslow from Family Matters be tossing Steve Urkel out the house. Steve Urkel, you're not allowed back in here. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he just compared Tom to Steve Urkel. Now, listen, Steve Urkel is not allowed back in the house, but his alter ego is Stefan. <laughs> and that could be that could be the double right there because Steve Urkel had split personalities, Steve and Stefan, and he's telling Tom that he's flip flopping. He's got multiple personalities. Okay, got any cheese? <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. Listen to this laugh, bro. Kick your ass out my house like I'm Earl Winslow. Got any cheese? <laughs> Yo, I love when he laughs because it's very Slim Shady-esque. Slim would just talk shit and then laugh afterwards. You don't like, you don't give a shit. Church is just having fun, bro. That's why he's laughing. He told you he's bored. Yeah, I'm just doing this so I get a kick out of it. <laughs> and people are getting riled up. Oh my God. The Steve Urkel thing. Love it. He compares him to B-Rabbit. Or sorry, not B-Rabbit. No, no, no. He wasn't comparing him to him. B-Rad from malibu and now we got steve urkel yo i love it i love the shout outs man that's my era of movies tv shows everything let's go this was dope as hell and his laugh at the end <laughs> he's just gonna have like a maniacal laugh <laughs> like he's gonna be in dexter's laboratory um man dark he's gonna break out that laugh ah ha ha ah ha ha dexter ah ha ha this was so fun, bro. This was so fun. Okay. Upchurch killed it again. He killed it again. This is how you do a diss track, man. I ain't got... There's nothing else I can say about it. The last one was good. This was an, this was an improvement on that because the last one, he had a chorus and everything. It was more song format. But he still... It was still a good diss track. This one, he was just... He was just barring him up. That's it. He was in his bag. There was no fluff, no filler just coming for him and the thing is i don't even think he was trying because you hear the laugh at the end it just sounds like he was having fun he's probably got five more diss tracks ready to go he might drop it right now while i'm talking <laughs> but nah listen i appreciate you guys for being here this was fun i hope that you had fun with this like i did and um I don't know what else to say about this, but it was a dope diss track. It was good, man. This is how you write a diss track. You're checking the boxes. So I'm going to get up out of here. I thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Much love to you. And <sighs> if there's another diss track after I stop this video, <laughs> bro, I ain't going to get no sleep tonight. Now, y'all enjoy your day. Hopefully I made your day a little better. It's your boy Snake Venom, S to the V. Peace. We out this month.